So today is the one week of actually having the laundromat open. I've been open uh, while I'm still working on things, getting things ready. Uh, still only open their goofy hours, which literally is closed Sunday, closed Monday, closed Thursday. And then uh, on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 9 to 5. And then Tuesdays, 9 to 8, which at least there's one day they could get some laundry in. So already went through and took all the keys for all the washers, dryers, all that stuff, and just opened everything up. And we're going to get some coins and see what we actually made. Uh, just got my little cart and right now a five gallon bucket. It's only been a week and the hours are terrible. So I don't really expect a too crazy amount of quarters, but we're definitely gonna find out. I actually even went and looked at some of the dryers and some of the dryers weren't even used. So kind of funny, kind of not funny, but uh, we're gonna start it out and get some quarters, so. Just keep on grabbing them. And like I said, I already opened all of the locks and got them ready. At least go. That is the big dryer. And like I said, I don't expect to make millions of dollars doing this, but I do want to at least turn a profit and also get this back up to par because it is definitely not making money like it should be. But we'll see what happens for the first week and kind of compare the first week to the second week and kind of go from there. Um, also, I can say and I will admit that the first week that I was open, I did not raise the prices. Now, I had quite a few people asking me while I was here if I was going to be raising prices and I have told all of them that yes, I will be raising prices because I have to. The public service and utilities bills have drastically gone up and pretty much the cost of everything has gone up. So I am definitely going to raise the prices. Um, worked with Alex, my employee, and him and I sat here I would say about three hours reading the old school manuals. Now, the reason why we read the manuals is because we wanted to figure out how to do things on our own. So we read the manuals, got as much information out of those as we could, and tried to just figure it out on our, on our own because we didn't want to have to rely on somebody else's information in order to get what we needed done. So what I can show you guys now, we have a five gallon bucket. There is uh, quite a bit of quarters. Not really sure how many, but it's pretty hefty. That was all of our dryers. Now, first washer that I have open, there's not even any quarters in it. So hopefully throwing them now. Hopefully the trend uh, continues a little bit that we have quarters rather than no quarters because no quarters is, is not good. That's not a profit. So I do see quite a bit of them that have been used. Um, that is a machine that's kind of on the edge and does not get used that much. I probably should have pulled these out a little further. 
hard to grab them sometimes. But all the rest of them, some of them look like they've only had one load of laundry, possibly two loads of laundry done. Some of them a little bit more. And again, this is this is one week. And only, we're not even open for 40 hours during that week. So these, uh, we got some speed cleaners here. A little bit more. And uh, those ones do seem to be used a little bit more. So eh, nothing too crazy. But I will say, I never thought here in quarters would be such a good sound. But I'll take all the quarters I can get in these machines. It means they're being used. And it is good to hear that they are being used. And got some of these Maytag front load washers. They seem to be fairly common. I will say from everything that I have researched on, the washers is where you make more money than the dryers. And I also have a lot of local people who come here, they wash their clothes and then they take their clothes home and then they dry their clothes at home because the water quality around here is very, very poor. So I guess that is a good thing for me, bad thing for them. But on the other hand, like I said, I only get them to wash their clothes here. They don't always dry their clothes here. So I'm still making money on that. And that's what we're gonna do now. Got a couple of Maytag top loads, smaller quarter buckets, but at least they're getting used. And got another top load. Lots of quarters in there. Okay, let's get to these last few machines. I like hearing all those quarters rack up. Now, I don't have a big, huge, fancy quarter counter yet, but I will be getting a quarter counter. I think for right now, I'm actually going to try and weigh them and see if I can get any sort of accuracy of how much money from weighing them. Um, I have a friend who lives down south And that's what he tells me he does because of the volume of his quarters. He says he doesn't like to spend time counting them or even have the machine count them. He just weighs them and gets a pretty accurate price on what he's made from the weight of the quarters. And I think that's what I'm gonna try and do. Some of these machines have been used quite a bit more than others. Some of them, like I said, we, we got two machines that had zero quarters. Okay. Now, I'd say that's quite a bit of money. Not a lot, but... I'm gonna just say, for my first week, I'm definitely not going to complain. I really didn't even know how much I would make uh, just because of the fact that I'm, I'm just starting, I'm just figuring this all out. And now here is change machine. And I'll grab all of this money out of here. Now, I did have to put quarters in the change machine 
beforehand. Um, there was $250 in there, and I also did take and add about another 100 to $150 in quarters in there. And 20s, 5s, 1s, 10s, all of it. Now, I will just say this. We have our five gallon bucket and it is, uh, you know, I'm gonna say it's at least half, half full of quarters. So, not terrible. We have, like I said, 20s, 10s, 5s, singles, every kind of denomination in cash. So now what we're going to do is count it up. Leave me a comment. Let me know and see how much you think I made in this tiny little town at this laundromat. Here is a electronic scale and just have everything set up. I'm going to just weigh the bucket of quarters. Uh, some simple math for you guys. Um, one pound of quarters is like 79.9999987 something or another quarters. So basically one pound of quarters is 80 quarters. 80 quarters is $20. So we can kind of do some math here. Right now we're at 15.7 pounds of quarters. I'm gonna dump them out and just kind of see exactly what this bucket weighs, just so that way I have a little bit more accurate um, number. Okay, so we're back. I have an empty bucket. I put that on the scale. We are at 0.3 pounds. So what we're gonna do, we got our original bucket of quarters. 15.7 pounds, subtract the 0.3 pounds, we're at 15.4 pounds. Um, what we'll do then is figure out the 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is going to be 40% of, you know, 100. 40% uh, of 80 quarters is going to be 32 quarters. So we have 15 pounds at 80 quarters a pound, which is going to be... 1200 so we have 1200 quarters and then we're going to have 32 quarters so we're going to have 1232 quarters we take and divide 1232 quarters into well 32 quarters is going to be eight dollars 1200 quarters is going to divide it so 308 dollars is what we have in quarters so $308 in quarters alone. And I can't really say that I made money from the change machine because it's basically just taking cash and turning that into coins that people are using here. But just to give you guys a representation, we have 100, 200, and here we have $47. So there's $247 here, but the change machine actually still has a lot of quarters in it. Now, again, I probably put between $300 and $400 worth of quarters in there. It still probably has about $250 worth of quarters in it now. So all in all, I would just like to cancel out the cash that I get and say that this week for being open very little and having people still come in, I still made $308 in quarters. I have no idea what utilities are going to cost me for the month yet. I have no idea what internet, what all of that is going to cost me. But if I can at least make $308 a week, hopefully that'll pay all my bills and hopefully I can get a little bit more money and start to see a little bit of a profit increase. Now, again, um, changing prices should help that a lot. Uh, utilities are a complete pain in the butt and we're trying to cope with that but at the same time hope that people can still come here everybody's got to do laundry so let's check in next week and see if we can get these profits higher than 308 dollars so did that whole video and completely forgot that i have this gem it is a big washer that i am 
switching over from three phase to single phase because this can run either or and currently is on three phase but I would like it to be on single phase so that way I don't have to run a converter and all that stupid stuff. Um, but as you can see, there is a whole lot of change still in here and it's 525 a load. It looks like I've had three loads, so that adds another $15.75 onto my total. That is a wrap for the first time, getting all the change, collecting quarters, all my keys. Those are gonna go back in the lockbox and the safe in the back. And I'm going to take some money to the bank, probably try to start saving up, making that payment, make it early, make it often, and get this thing paid off. So that way everything that I make just is mine. I don't have to worry about the bank. Check in next time. I will definitely make another video and see what we can do. Uh, looks like our grand total for today, after everything all said and done, right around $323.75. Now, again, I did not count these quarters. All I did was just weigh them. It is fairly accurate. Uh, at least that's what the internet says and what my buddy says. So we're going to just take his word for it. And I'm not going to spend countless, countless times counting quarters. I will wait until I can get a quarter counter, maybe make a little more exciting video. But until then, we're just going to do this, the little simple, uh, quick, easy weighing method. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, give me a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see more of the laundromat, if you want to see more of doing scrapping, if you want to see more of some trips that I take, or just the crazy nonsense that's really going on and running all these businesses. But um, give me a comment. Otherwise, like this video, share this video, and definitely hit the subscribe button.